Hey guys, I'm shooting this video from a sunny Chiang Mai, Thailand. I just spent the last 24 hours flying from Toronto to Chiang Mai, so I thought this would probably be a great opportunity to talk about how to deal with long haul flights. Let's get started. Number one is seating. I highly recommend, even if you love the window seat on short flights, always get the aisle seat on long flights. If you're taking a 10 hour plus flight, you're gonna have to use the toilet at some point or another, and there's nothing more annoying than having to climb over your aisle buddies uh, because they're sleeping and you don't wanna like wake them up and nudge them. It's just, it's just, it's work. When you could just be in the aisle seat, get up and go to the washroom and not have to disrupt anybody. Also, when boarding your flight, I always wait till the end when everyone else has boarded. Sometimes you might get extra lucky and the flight that you're on isn't all booked up. So you might end up being able to get a whole row of seats all to yourself so you can lay down and actually get some sleep. Staying hydrated is so important. The plane is so dry, it's like the Sahara Desert, which means it's easier to get dehydrated. Hydration can lead to something called DVT, deep vein thrombosis, and it is a blood clot that forms um, most of the time in your leg, and it is more common for those who fly often. I use these vitamin hydration tablets, which prevent jet lag and also dehydration. They're excellent. As soon as I get onto the plane and take my seat, I get out a wet nap and I wipe down everything around me. So my seat, my table tray, the TV, the buttons, everything. Because you'd be surprised how dirty it is. It hardly gets cleaned and there's people who are sick and coughing and germs and you don't want to get to your destination and get sick, right? So wipe it down, give it a good wipe. Getting comfortable, of course, is important. I always bring a neck pillow and a pashmina, which I use as a extra neck support or even a blanket or just to cover my face if the, if the plane is too bright uh, and I want to get some sleep. Moving around during a long flight is really important to get the circulation flowing. So getting up every two hours or so, walking up and down the aisle. You can also do some exercises in your seat without moving. So you can do some leg raises, you can roll your ankles. As long as you're moving your legs and your arms, even doing some like shoulder rolls, uh, this can also prevent a DVT from happening. As I mentioned, Planes are super dry, so it's great to moisturize. I always bring moisturizer with me on a flight. I bring some for my face, I bring lip chap as well, and then the rest for my body. The worst is coming back from a trip, especially if you're somewhere that was really hot, you have a nice tan, and you don't want to peel or flake. You don't want to look like a, a, a snake that's shedding its skin. So moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Eating healthy. Plain food isn't always the greatest, although I've had some pretty decent meals on some airlines, but for the most part, it's pretty like fatty, a lot of carbs, a lot of cheese, kind of ugh. I always bring snacks from home, which is mostly fruits and nuts and granola bars. So you can just grab, grab something out of your bag if you feel like you need a little, little energy boost and to fill your tummy a little bit. I also bring vitamins with me on my flight. I take magnesium every single day. Magnesium, it also chills you out, but it also gives you a good sleep. I use these calming tablets because I get anxiety um, when flying, so I take those. Sleeping on a plane is difficult for many people, including myself, but if you can get sleep, it's really important because once you get to your destination, you don't want to be tired, you don't want to have jet lag, you want to just go and enjoy your time. It's also important if you're flying from one time zone to another to reset your internal clock. So if it's going to be morning at the destination you're going to, get some sleep on the plane on the way there. Some other things I bring with me to keep me happy on a long haul flight are something that's not electronic that keeps me entertained, so a book usually. I bring my own headphones all the time because the ones the airlines give are crappy. And I always bring my earplanes now which help with ear pressure they are amazing and they're like five dollars from a drugstore or you can get them online I'll leave a link in the description box below now I want to know how do you deal with long-haul flights let us know by leaving a comment below because I would love to know some additional tips and advice from you guys and I will see you later happy travels